and welcome to another EF2000 Tacticom Let's Play video. Today we're going to continue with the campaign and choose another mission on the roster. So let's see what there is. There's no missions available, so we're going to go into the mission plan and make our own mission. So let's see if we can destroy something decent. Let's see if we can destroy a dam. There's one nearby to the NATO border. So let's choose this one. And we'll take off from this airfield because there's 16 Euro fighters available. And we're going to have a pair of F-22s as escorts. And it's just us to bomb this dam. We're going to assign the dam generation plant and the dam sluice control to us to destroy. There it is in the picture. So now we just need to set up some waypoints and get over there in the safest way possible. So it's just going to zoom in on this map over Norway. And we can see where the surface to air missiles are and the early warning radars are. I want to fly along the coast if we can and then we won't be so easily detected if we fly low and fast and we'll come back the same way as well. So just double check where the SAMs are, the surface to air missiles and I think on the way there I'm going to fly f low along the land through some uh, along the valleys if we can and then come back along the coast I think that will work So when, when we pass over the target area, we can just fly straight along rather than turn 180 degrees and fly back the way we came. I think that could be quite dangerous. Right, now we need to set the altitude of these waypoints. And the higher we are, the less fuel we'll use. But we do become more easily detected by enemy radar. and I think that's pretty much it so let's choose a takeoff slot and let's do this let's check our loadout, we'll clear the loadout we're gonna choose a fuel tank straight away and we'll have some iron MK83 bombs they're the heaviest unguided bombs in this game. We'll have some AMRAM medium range missiles and some short range missiles. So let's go. And here we are in the Eurofighter. If we press Shift and M we can get the mini maps up. And there's our plane. Let's ask the tower to take off and here we are. We'll just skip straight to the runway and go full power and put our burners on and we're rolling down the runway we're about 170 knots and we'll pull up on the flight stick and we're airborne and we'll put our undercarriage up straight away as well Uh, we select the air to ground ordinance we can see the waypoints that we need to fly to so we need to go to waypoint 2 and we'll just bank to the left and head that in that direction autopilot engaged now we'll let the autopilot fly the rest of the way for us We're on our own, there's no wingmen, so we're going to do it all ourselves. I'll just jump into the smart view and see what's around. There's a J Stars plane, and that locates the ground targets for us. There's another Eurofighter in the area, 
and an F-22, I think that's our escort plane he's already in the air and looking around there's an F-15 on his own mission there Now we're coming up to about 30,000 feet now. I'm just going to level off. Now I'm going to skip to waypoint 4, the IP waypoint, which is roughly cutting the distance a f little bit but not by much and there's some 250 miles to go there uh, we use the shift and T we speed up time there's our ordnance there And we're speeding up time because it'll take a fair while to get there otherwise. Warning. Radar lock. There's an enemy plane in the area. It's an SU-35. And it's been attacked. It's been hit. And <laughs> smack in the face. There's a lone SU-35 that was. In our territory so... It was only a matter of time before it would be intercepted and destroyed. And there's another Eurofighter with its two winged mounted fuel tanks. A little unusual. I tend to prefer having a central fuel tank, just one of those, because they're slightly larger according to the game manual than two smaller uh, fuel tanks on the wings because you use up less hard points and you can have more missiles and ordnance. Now there's no enemy airplanes according to our minimap. So we're okay. Let's check our fuel. Plenty of fuel. And we'll check the uh, JTIDS display. Autopilot and you can see there's some mountains on our right hand side. Autopilot disengaged. And we look at the target. There's the dam. I think that's the generator at the top that we need to destroy and the sluice control at the bottom. And we've got about 73 miles to go. And there's another SU-35 flanker coming into our view. And it's already in a battle with somebody else. And it's launched an archer missile but it's been hit and the wing's been blown off and it's careering into the ground there it goes now we're coming up to the target area now you can see the red crosses and we've got a missile locked onto us we've been detected and there's some SU-33s in the area, they've launched some missiles at us so we need to just throttle up and we've also got an infrared missile on us now now there's a couple of ways you can break the locks of these planes is make sure you put your electronic counter measures on and we have and change your speed or altitude and that would be enough to break the lock now our escort F-22 plane is now engaging the enemy planes and itself is under attack, it's launching chaff now we're on to our target waypoint which is some 38 miles away so we're just turning towards waypoint 5 
And I'm going to use our autopilot to do the rest until we get quite close and I'll turn the autopilot off. We've managed to break the locks of the missiles that are on us. And there's also some MiG-27s intercepting us. And you can see they've just closed their wings and they're flying at supersonic speed to intercept us. I think it's us. You can see these swept back wings there. To increase uh, their speed and reduce their drag. And now we're coming down to below 2,000 feet now. Uh, if we remain low, we can remain uh, undetected because radar can't go through land. So we're flying across the sea at about 500 feet and about 500 knots as well. Now this dam should be just over this hill. I don't know which direction we're going to be in in relation to this dam. So we may need to fly around and get a good angle at it. There it is. I think we're going to fly along the valley and then do a 180 degree turn and fly towards the dam. Now there's some enemy airplanes nearby. I don't think we've been detected so far, they've just left us alone. There's one to our uh, two o'clock and one to our uh, ten o'clock. But we just need to keep low and we can attack this dam without any interference. So we're just swinging around now. There's the dam straight ahead. Just going uh, to line the Eurofighter up. We're just going to slow down a little bit. So I've just put our air brake on. And that's slow enough for us. I'll throttle back as well. Now our DAS defensive su aid subsystem is flashing. That means someone's locked onto us or there's um, some sort of threat. But well, I just need to keep flying in this direction, get these bombs away. Just a few seconds longer. There's the bomb fall line. We got to get the marker over the target. And we're being shot at. Bombs away. That's all four bombs away. Boom. And this dam's been completely destroyed. All right, so we'll put half the burners on and put full throttle up. We need to just get out of here as fast as we can. And we've got a radar lock on us. I think those enemy planes have found us. Yes, we've definitely been spotted now. And it looks like there's more planes that have been scrambled from a nearby airfield. And there's one on our six. So come on, we need to get out of here. I'm going to keep low. I'm going to fly along this valley. It's just behind us. I'm not sure why he hasn't launched any missiles at us. Oh, we've been hit. We've been shot at. Come on, we're going to bank to the left, see if we can shake this bogey. We're going to fly really low. See if we can shake him. We're flying at the speed of sound, but we don't have the speed advantage at these low altitudes. Warning. Radar lock. I can see in our infrared search and track display is, is uh, some sort of Sukhoi flanker. 
so it's probably going to be faster than us at these kind of altitudes. I've got probably got no choice but to attack it now. So I'm going to get it in my sights. I'm pulling up. Try the airwoman manoeuvre. Okay, it's not followed us that well. I've got two ASRAM short range missiles actually. So if I can just Warning, turn around and shoot it off ball sight, I've got a chance. There it is behind us. We're flying through the crowds. Um, I'm nearly about got it in my sights. Oh. Here we go. Oh, just managed to turn around and get a shot at us. I don't think we've got the most maneuverable plane if we compare this plane and our plane to each other. But I've got a missile away. And it's launching flares and it's broken lock. Oh no, our missiles hit the ground. Let's see if I can have another go at it. No, I think I'm going to have to use cannons. We just get it into our sights. I put afterburners on because we're nearly about to stall because we're turning so tightly. There it is. Although it can turn tightly too, and as soon as we get it into our sights, it just leaves our sights. So we've only got a fleeting moment to get our cannons over it. But we're now on at six with better luck. Cannons away, guns, guns, guns. Got another chance here. Oh, it's really hard. Perfect, get it. Come on, it's smoking. I've got to get some more shots on it. There it is. I know there's other fighters on R6 as well at the moment, so we can't stay in one, fly in one direction too long. Come on, yes, and again, it's smoking now. Uh, we're just going through the cloud. But luckily not through it completely, so we can still keep our sights on it. It is desperately trying to shake us. Weaving in and out. And now pulling up. And there it is. No, not quite. Hostiles 345 degrees, 3 angel, 9. Now it's a test of pure power now. But not enough, it's done for. <sighs> now if we press F2, we can select the over the shoulder view and press Z for the next target, closest target. And there's another plane there. Now, I should probably use up a lot of fuel in this dogfight. Let's see if I can try and run away. Because there's at least two or three more planes. 
and I don't think we're gonna make it home so let's see if we can run away down into this oh no we destroyed oh we've been destroyed by this SU-35 there it is so this is our first loss in the campaign Well, let's hope we do better in the next mission. Until next time, bye-bye.